Hello everyone, it is everybody's favorite gaming weasel back at it again. The Kuva Brahma is the topic of today's video. I actually never made a video on the Kuva Brahma and I think it is the best time to make a video on this amazing bow. And now of course this is a Kuva weapon acquired by killing yourself Kuva Lich. And of course the element that I'm using that I recommend you use is going to be Heat. So that basically means bring yourself a Fire Warframe and get yourself uh, a Fire Larveling. And then having base heat on this weapon is going to be tremendously, tremendously good. Before we're actually starting the video, there appears to be something appearing on the screen. Oh, it shows that only 2% of you guys are subscribed. That is a really, really low number. I would really appreciate it and I would be grateful to heavens above if you guys could increase that number at least by, let's say, 99%. That would be even great. So 101% of you are actually subscribed and watching. So that would be really amazing. And of course... Do leave a like and comment down below of what you think of the video, my content, and stuff like that. You know, just let's start a discussion in the comment section below. So, the Kuva Brahma. An amazing bow weapon, and the biggest drawbacks of this weapon are basically going to be the ammo count and the slow draw speed of 0.6, and the ammo base ammo count is 5, which is very, very low. So, the build, like this. Of course, 5 Forma, because to bring it to maximum rank 40, you do need to put 5 Forma in there. We have Malignant Force and, of course, Stormbringer for Corrosive, for reducing that juicy enemy armor. Heat as its base uh, status, as I said, for even more armor reduction. We have Heavy Caliber, of course, Galvanized Chamber, Hunter Munitions, Vital Sense, and Critical Delay. Vigilante Supplies, this is a must mod. Not only for the 5% uh, chance to enhance critical hits, but for the conversion of ammo because this weapon has a really small ammo count and of course a really awesome arcane primary merciless which basically opens up a free slot and that's why we have a free slot right here because this basically replaces serration which also another amazing thing is it increases our reload speed and our ammo maximum so basically with this setup i have a total of 10 arrows which is really really good so why did I leave this slot blanked out? Well, I left this slot blanked out because I wanted to show you and demonstrate to you guys that in Warframe, everybody can make their builds and their Warframes catered to them and, of course, use different kinds of mods. So, we're going to be starting off with a V-Polarity mod called... If I can find it. Uh, I cannot find it, apparently. It is going to be bladed rounds. So, this will give us on kill 100%, 120% critical damage when aiming for 9 seconds. So, 180 level corrupted heavy gunners, 19 of them, and the only thing that it's turned on is invincibility, so, you know, I don't die. So, as you can see, we're basically shredding them like it's nothing. I'm basically destroying these enemies pretty goddamn easy, and Hunter Munition, oh, there's nobody left already. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hunter Munition's doing its job. I am using a Panzer Wolf Profiler with the Viral Quid Quills mod to apply Viral to the enemies. So that is another really, really cool bonus. If you don't have a Panzer Wolf Profiler, what are you doing? Go get yourself a Panzer Wolf Profiler. Another mod that you can put, the Galvanized Scope on Headshot. 120% critical chance increase and on the headshot kill, 40% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds, which stacks up to 5 times. That is another cool mod that you can equip. Let's go test that out. So, as you can see, you know, we're basically going to get headshots because this is an AoE weapon. So, as you can see, I'm mostly getting orange crits at the moment. And... Yeah, there you go. The enemies are dying like it's nothing. Keep in mind that this weapon does have knockback. So if you don't have Prime Sure Footed, get it somehow by playing the game basically all day long, every day, every day. And then, or use a Warframe like Neja, of course, who, of course, can negate that with his third, Rhino with his second, and Titania with her first ability. So there you go, just so you know how to resist knockdown if you don't have Prime Sure Footed. Another great mod combination, Hammer Shot, increasing your critical damage and also your status chance. Uh, my Kuva Brahma came with 21.4% critical chance, which is very, very low. I'm going to be bringing that up as soon as I possibly can, so you can use a different mod, which I'm going to be showing right after this one. But also, 
hammer shot an amazing mod to basically decimate anything that is in front of you of course the weapon itself is doing most of the damage hammer shot is there just to help and there you go they are all dead again we have another deep polarity mod we have of course the galvanized aptitude to bring yourself more damage per status type affecting the target and also an 80 percent chance increase of the status another amazing mod there you go just to show you that in warframe it does not matter if someone says you have a bad build if you love using it you can definitely use it well sometimes you have to keep in mind that there are bad builds in warframe and you know maybe sometimes you should take someone's suggestion and there you go this guy's left and no more and the last mod is going to be vigilante armaments uh, and that mod is going to be pairing up with vigilante supplies and giving us an increase of 10 percent critical chance instead of five so basically that is it you can also add hellfire you can add prime firestorm if you have it if you don't then add ordinary firestorm for extra utility extra blast radius and basically extra dps and as you can see the rocks are mostly orange and or yellow but this weapon is simply amazing it is a really really good weapon uh if you can eliminate 180 corrupted heavy gunners you can eliminate basically anything i do not recommend this weapon only for killing bosses if you're gonna try to kill bosses i recommend some other weapons but this weapon is simply amazing at killing anything that appears in front of you especially large groups of enemies this weapon is simply amazing and it is a must have for every single warframe player out there so when you get the chance definitely get yourself a cool brahma preferably better than 21 percent that a chance that i do i'm gonna be getting myself another one to increase this one's status chance and then then do some other weird combos but yeah that was it hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did do leave a like a comment and do subscribe for more and i will see you guys on the next one the gaming weasel over and out